Hello, my name is Jalaluddin and I am a teacher at the Majma University campus uh, for the preparatory year. Now, these recordings are going to be based on a book called Q Skills for Success, Second Edition, Level 1. Okay, It should look like a book, which is an orange book from the cover. If you can have a very quick look there. It should be an orange book. The name is just up here, okay? Uh, first thing you want to do before you even watch these videos is for, you probably want to go buy these books, okay? Buy the level one book. This is what's going to get you started off, okay? Now, um, in these recordings, I'm going to be teaching you listening, okay? The listening section for each of these units. Now, in this book, there is in total of eight units, okay? So each video will have a unit each. I'll be explaining what the unit is about, which is this question usually, okay? These are the unit topics. Each unit has one. For unit one, for example, it's talking about how you can find a good job, okay? The reason I explain this to you is because in the speaking test that you have near towards the uh, mid-semester and the end of the semester, they're going to be quizzing you. Uh, sorry, they're going to be um, they're going to be holding a test for you on speaking on um, a random unit. Okay, from unit one to unit eight. Now, if the teacher, uh, for example, me, ask you to answer this question, this is the question you would answer. Okay, uh, if you know this question, you can you understand everything else about it. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is go and buy this book, Q Skills for Success second edition okay uh, i'm pretty certain you can get it from juria bookstore you can get it online souk.com i'm not sure but um just have a look around and find it okay now when you open the book before this is page number two okay uh this is page number two and uh page number three now if you open the book for the first time they'll be on your left hand side around here when you open the book for the first time you'll see a code that's where you uh, register online with the book. It's a brand new book, right? You put the code in and then you are able to access everything inside the book, okay? We're talking about listening material, which is right here, okay? You can press this and you can listen to the audio, all right? Now, let's quickly move on to unit one, okay? Now, on page number two, the question is quite simple, okay? It says here, if you look very carefully, unit one, how you can find, how can you find a good job, okay? The first thing you need to do when you're studying English is break it down. Break it down. What is the question asking you? So, how I would answer this, okay? Find. Find means how do you find something, okay? How do you look for something? A good job. Everybody knows the opposite of good is bad, okay? So you know what a bad job is and you know what a good job is. Now, how can you find a good job? This is a very good question. Now, how you can find a good job? You can use companies such as um, recruitment agencies, okay? You can use recruitment agencies that show you exactly how to uh, apply for a job, okay? You give them your CV, your resume, whatever it is that you um, have. You give it to a company, you tell them I'm looking for this job and they will find you that job, okay? Or if you went onto websites like um, the oil company Aramco, for example, Al Raji, uh, McDonald's, Burger King, it doesn't matter where you work, okay? There's always a way to find a good job, okay? Now, on question number one, it says here, do you have a job? Now, usually what would happen in the speaking test, they would ask you the question, how can you find a good job? The answer is quite simple, just, you know, on websites, on recruitment agencies, maybe friends, maybe families, okay? Now, once you answer this question here, you answer question two as well. How do people find jobs, okay? Now, on question number one, do you have a job? Now, most of you guys that are listening to this, um, this um, podcast and video, more likely you won't have a job because you're students right now, okay? For someone like me, I do have a job. It's with the University um, of Majma. Now, it says here, the next question, so your answer would be usually no, okay? If you have a job, 
You tell me what your job is, okay? And what is your dream job? Your dream job means if you were to do anything in life, what would it be? Would it be, um, you know, an engineer? Would it be an IT technician? Would it be a chef? Would it be a, a car racer? It doesn't matter. You just uh, tell me what your dream job is in the future. Okay. So uh, question number two, how do people find jobs? Again, it goes back to the main question of the unit. How can people find good jobs? If you know these answers, you can pass the English level, unit one very easily. Okay. Very simple. Now, it says here on the question three, look at the photo. Where is this man? What is he doing? So you can see this man here on page number three. So what's he doing? It looks like he's waiting for something. Okay. Now he looks like he's ready for to meet a boss, maybe for a company, because as you can see, he's wearing nice shoes. He's wearing a suit and he's wearing a tie. Okay. And he's probably reading something. All right. Maybe um, his application, for example. OK, maybe he's about to get interviewed for his job. All right. The good thing about English is there's no right or wrong answer. OK, it's what you think. Now, as you can see by him, he looks like he's ready for an interview with a boss or maybe he works for a company already and he's showing boss maybe the results. So and that's how simple this is. OK, that's how simple unit uh, one is. How can you find a good job? If you can answer this question, you can answer speaking unit one. OK. That means if the teacher asks you in the test, you can answer it no problem. Now, once you finish that, guys, um, again, I'm going to be teaching you in this video. I'm going to be I'm going to be teaching you listening. OK, so another teacher is going to be teaching you speaking. So let's go on to listening. Now, on page number five, if you look here, page number five, you're talking about looking for a job. OK, now. Just bear with me. There we are. OK, so page number five, we're going to start at the top. Now, once you um, go onto the website, uh, type in your code and get your uh, content, you'll be able to access this as well, okay? Or um, you can access to the audio and stuff like that, all right? Now, the first section, it says a vocabulary. Here are some words from listening one. Read the sentences, then write each underlined word next to the correct definition. Right, guys, you're going to be looking at all the words are underlined. Underlined means a line under the word, okay? So, the first word, uh, Khaled wants to change his career. He wants to become a doctor. The word, I'm not going to read all these, okay? I'm sure you can understand English. I know you how to read, okay? You know basics of reading. So, what I want you to do is just look at the words are underlined, okay? That's all you need to do. So, the first one is career. The next one is employee. The next one is uh, for number three, requirement. Number four is basic. Number five, organized. Number six, degree. Number seven is application. And number eight is interview. So now you have to get these words that are underlined, okay, and put them in A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? And if you look at page number six on the other side, you've got to do G and H at the top as well, okay? So what I'll do is, because it's your first year, it's first level, so I don't want to make it too hard. I want to make it easy for you. So what you want to do is um, read each question, okay? So a person who works for someone, okay? Now, if you don't know how to do this, the best way to do it is using a dictionary or maybe Google, for example, okay? So what you want to do is type in the words, and then you'll find the meaning and you put them into A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. OK, so. A, a person who works for someone. Now, this is quite easy. This is an employee. OK. She's a new employee of that company, someone who works for that company. So number A, sorry, A is employee. OK, A is employee. B, a piece, uh, sorry, a paper you get when you finish college. Now, one day when you finish Majima University, you will get a piece of paper. OK, that is called a degree. So B is degree. C, a job that you learn to do and then you do it for many years. OK, so now when you do a job for a very long time, for example, me, I'm a teacher. It would be a career. OK, a career. 
something you do for a very long time. D, a p special piece of paper you fill out when you try to get a job. Now, when you apply for a job, you're uh, applying for to be able to get that job. Okay, you're applying to get that job. So, the answer with this would be application. Okay, so D would be application. Next one, uh, something you sorry sorry something that you need or that you must do or have. E. So this is quite easy. Now, when it comes to a job, all right, when you need something, it's something usually called a requirement, okay? Now, if you want to be a football player, you, your requirement would be you have to be young, you have to be good with your diet, and you have to be a good football player, okay? These are the requirements, all right? And that's it. That's quite easy. So let's have a look. The next one is able to plan your work or life well, okay? When you can plan and make your make your life very well, it usually means that you are organized, okay? Organized means um, you're very um, correct with what you're doing, okay? You're very organized. You know where your papers are. You know where your pen is. You know where your books are. You know if you play PlayStation, for example, you know where your games are. I usually, for me, for example, I play PlayStation. Uh, whether you play PlayStation, Xbox, PC, if you have games, right, I put them in alphabetical order. So I put them A to Z in the game section, okay? And I like it like that. It looks organized, okay? So I know which game I need to find very quickly, okay? If it's Call of Duty, whether it's um, Need for Speed, whether it's FIFA, whatever it is, okay? Now, if you go into the next page on page number six, on page number six, it says here G, a meeting when someone asks questions to decide if you will get the job. Now, if you go back on page five, the answer for this one is someone that is getting interviewed, okay? Someone that's getting interviewed, okay? What happens is when you get interviewed, they ask you questions to see if you are good enough for the job, okay? Now, on the last one on page number six is uh, H. If you go on H on the top of page six, simple including only what is necessary, okay? When something is simple, anything in life when it's simple, it is usually, let's have a look what's left, is basic, okay? Something simple, very simple, uh, straightforward. That is usually basic, okay? So the answer for A was, just make sure you know, A is employee, B is degree, C is career, D is application, E is requirements, F is organized. If you go onto page number six at the top, G, is interview and H is basic, okay? Now, it says here, you will hear a radio podcast about gladberry.com, a website for university students and graduates. Now, if you don't know what Gladberry is, Gladberry is a company, okay, that helps, um, you can listen to the audio yourself in your spare time, okay? I'm here to make sure you understand what you're doing throughout these uh, sections, okay? But you can listen to the audio yourself, um, and it's quite simple. Take your time with the audio, listen to it, pause it, rewind it if you want to, okay? Now, Gradbury is a company, okay, for people that just finished college, finished university, that just got degrees, and what they want to do is they use that um, everything they have and be able to find a job, okay? Now, the problem that uh, usually what university students have, okay? Now, the most biggest problem that university students have is they have no experience. So that is a big, big problem, okay? Uh, so, Gradbury helps you, okay? They know you don't have experience. So, what they do is they use your degree and they tell you, okay, you're going to go through jobs and they will help you find jobs. And at the end, they will, um, with the jobs, you'll get more experience over time. All right. So, again, listen to the audio. This is really important. Okay. Now, on section C, these questions are very simple. All you have to do is read the statement, write T for true or F for false. Okay. And if there's any false statements, okay, if there's any F statements, uh, false statements, true means right. F, which is false, means wrong, okay? If it's false, I want you to write down the correct sentence, okay? But you can only do this by listening to the audio, okay? Now, 
Question number one was false. Okay. Uh, I'll give you an answer for question number two. Okay. Most companies require a university degree as well as work experience. When you start working for a company or when you want to start working for a company, you're going to need a university degree. That is normal. But you're going to need work experience. Work experience is something that university can't give you. Okay. It's experience. It's for you to get better at something. Okay. Um, I've been teaching for, let's have a look, one, two, three, four. Right now, I'm in my fifth year of teaching. Okay. Five years. I've been, um, after I finished this year, 2021, it'll be five years of teaching. That's my experience of teaching five years. Okay. Now, if I have zero years of experience, it's very hard to get a job. But if I tell a company I have a university degree and work experience for five years, they would give me the job. The number two is true. Okay. Number three is uh, false. Gradberry is the same as other sites like LinkedIn and Buyer.com. LinkedIn and Buyer are websites where I think everyone knows what LinkedIn is. Okay, let's be honest. Uh, everybody knows what LinkedIn is. If you don't know what LinkedIn is, type it on Google, LinkedIn and Buyer.com. They're just websites that people find you on to give you jobs, okay? So the, number three is false. Number four, Gradbury.com started in the Middle East, but is an international company now. The answer for that is true. If you listen to the audio, it's true, okay? Make sure you listen to the audio and try to get as much as you can. On number five, users of Gradbury can learn a new skill on the site. The answer for this is true. Now, um, Gradbury is very good. Sometimes you want to apply for a job, but you don't have the skill. Now, when you apply for a job, okay, this is very, very, very important that people need to know. There's three things you need. You need a degree, okay? If you want to be a doctor, you need a degree. You're going to need experience, okay? A time that you want to spend in a company to make you better. And then the last thing you would need is skills, okay? Skills can be communication skills. It can be computer skills. It could be uh, Excel skills, uh, Word, uh, sorry, you know, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word skills, maybe accounting skills. It can be, there's so many skills in the world, okay? Even English, Arabic, French, German, okay? Languages are skills, okay? So remember, they can, they can teach you a skill on their website, okay? That makes you look better for when you apply for a job, okay? Now, we're going to go on to section D, Okay. So on section D, uh, I'll run through the answers very quickly. It says here circle. Circle means when you do this, okay? I think everyone knows what circle is. If you look at the mouse, this is what circle is, okay? Circle. Circle the answer that best completes each statement. It says here Masood and Ahmed started the site because they wanted to, okay? Now, if you don't know where these answers are coming from, make sure you listen to the audio here, okay? The audio as a podcast is a very, uh, it's not very long. It's maybe five, ten minutes, I think. And uh, they will give you the answer, okay? So make sure you listen to that, and you can get through the answers very quickly, okay? But I'm going to, if you want to pause it and listen to the audio again and get the answers, you can do. Otherwise, I will go through the answers normally, okay? So question number one. Masood and Ahmed started the site because they wanted to. The answer for this is help people like themselves. Masood and Ahmed, they wanted um, to be able to find a job after university. So they had it very hard. They wanted other people that finished university to be able to get jobs, just like them. Okay, so they wanted help it help. Sorry, they wanted uh, help people like themselves. Okay, number two, Gradberry.com is useful for people who don't have. The answer is much work experience. Okay, remember when you graduate, you don't really have much experience at all. So they want uh, people to get jobs without much work experience. If a new employee needs English skill, he or she can something through Gradberry. The answer for this one is, I think I talked about it before, the answer for number three is A, take a course online. You can take a course online to be able to get a job, okay? If you do the course, and you're more likely to get the job now, okay? Number four, users of Gradberry can also learn about how to, the answer for this one is get a job, okay? Learn how to get a job. Now, E. All you have to do is A, B, C, D, E, F. These letters, you're going to put them in A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, depending on what the answers are. 
Number one, Ibn Masood and Said Ahmed. Okay, the answer for this one went to the same university in Dubai. So number one is B. Number two, Bradbury.com was, let's have a look, a successful business idea. Okay, it was a very successful business idea. So number two is D. Number three, many people in the Middle East now, it says here, look for jobs on LinkedIn and buyer, okay? That means in the Middle East countries, they look for jobs in LinkedIn and buyer. Well, Gradbury uh, has helped a lot of people now. Number four, Gradbury is different because, let's have a look. The answer should be, it's for, um, it's for new university graduates, okay? That's the truth. Number four is E. Number five, courses on Gradbury.com website include, it should be, the answer should be include language and computer classes. So the answer for number five, number five should be F. Number six, users can find career advice. The last one was, let's have a look, on a blog site on the website. Okay, on a blog on the site. Site means website, okay? That's it. So that's the answers for um, question E. All right. Now, for this one, uh, you can listen to the audio again, okay? Listen to the audio and that you'll answer the questions for uh, F, other sites, and Gradbury, okay? So F, F is, uh, if you want to pause it and listen to it and answer it, because I'm going to tell you the answer now, okay? Open to anyone, okay? Other sites are open to anyone. LinkedIn and Buyer, they're open. These websites are open to anyone, okay? Anyone can apply. It helps people find jobs find jobs and help companies find employees okay that's it it's quite simple now gradbury is different okay gradbury is i think by now you know all the websites like linkedin and buyer they're for everyone but gradbury is only targeted for university students which is very good for them to find a job people worry about how to find a job after they graduate but gradbury helps is just for University students and graduates. They also offer skill and experience to help people find. It offers skills and courses to help people find employees. Okay. Find employees for people. To help people. Sorry, not. Let me repeat that again. <laughs> also offers skill skills and courses to help people find jobs okay that's what gradbury does and that's it pretty much it's quite simple now once you finish that if you want you can go on to page number eight okay on page eight uh you don't really you can read this if you want it's entirely your choice this will be an extra activity to do uh, i don't find it very important but i'm going to go on to this bit okay now on question on, sorry on page eight there's here a listening skill okay let me just zoom in. There we are. Okay. Listening skill. Now, if you see anything in a yellow box, yellow box means it's something important. Okay. Now, that means you need to know this. Now, listening skill, listening for keywords and phrases. The keywords and phrases tell you the important information about a topic. Speakers often repeat keywords and phrases more than once. Listening for new, sorry, listening for keywords and phrases can help you identify the topic. Listen for, to the example. The topic is a study about companies' opinions of recent college graduates. The keywords and phrases are often late to work, did not follow rules and company complaints. The speaker says the words employers and recent university graduates more than once. In an easy way to explain all this, keywords and phrases, keywords mean important information in a sentence, okay? That's the easiest way to remember it. Keywords and phrases are important information, information in a sentence, okay? Sometimes people say it twice, like I'm going to do now. Sometimes people say it twice, okay? So... Listen to the audio. If you want, you can pause it, pause the video, and um, you can do the answer yourself very quickly and then answer. But I'm going to go on to an answering, okay? So when you listen to the audio, the answer for number A is A. 
why is it difficult to uh, for graduates to find jobs? Number one is A. Number two is B, how Gradberry began. Number three is um, A, how Gradberry works. There you go. So if you want, if you didn't answer all that, there you go. There's the answer for this. Just bear with me. Uh, it's not pulling up the answer for some reason. Oh, well. Okay, so the answer for number one was A, number two was B, and number three is A. For some reason, the software is not letting me open the answer, but it's okay. Okay, so let's have a look. Listen again. Check, uh, tick, okay? Tick means tick, like that. Just like this, okay? Tick any of these boxes and phrase phrases the words... Uh, sorry, listen again. Check, tick the words and phrases the speaker uses more than once, okay? More than once means uses it more than one time, okay? So uses it two times, maybe three times, maybe four times, okay? But usually in this case, it'll say uses more than once. The answer for number one is graduates, companies, requirements, and require. So these three, okay? Number two is Ahmed, wanted to, and help graduates. Number three is information, post, interviews, and employees. Okay, that's it. Quite simple. Now, we're going to go on to, let's go on to the last bit now. All right, so, uh, let's have a look. On page number nine, we're on page number nine now, okay? So, these are the words that you're going to be looking at, okay? The definitions are right next to each other, okay? Advertisement, uh, sorry, advertising is telling people about things to buy, okay? Now, advertising is usually things you see on YouTube, okay? You see it on um, when you drive on the highway, for example, and you see it on the wall, a big poster, okay? Uh, sometimes when you're watching a video, you can see advertisements on your favorite YouTuber. Uh, these little things, okay? Very easy. Sometimes you see advertising on TV. Now, uh, next one is assistant, a person who helps someone in a more important position. Graduate, to finish your studies at a school, college, or university. Major, the main subject you study in college or university, for example. A manager, a person who controls a company or business. Resume, or it's called, it can be called a CV. A CV or resume, a list of your education and work experience that you send when you try to get a job. Now, I'm going to fire through the answers. It's very simple, this one. Very simple indeed. Number one, my mother speaks French very well. French was her major, major in college. You're just using these words and put it in here, okay? Number one was major. Number two, uh, Yuan, uh, Yuan got a job as an assistant in a school. He'll help the children when the teacher is busy. Assistant. Now, number three. Look at the top bit here. It isn't easy to get a job in advertising. You need to have an interesting idea. You need to have interesting ideas. And you have to know how to sell things. Number four. I sent my, the answer should be, resume to 10 companies. Only one company called me for an interview. My father is the manager of a large restaurant. He has a lot of employees and he's very busy. Number six, I plan to graduate. The last one was graduate from college next year. Okay, that's it. It's quite simple. Now, let's have a look. Now, if you want, you can listen to the audio on page number 11. It's quite simple, this one. It's up to you, by the way. This helps. All these activities that we do uh, in this unit, it helps you um, listen better. Okay. Um, the thing about these activities are, um, in a classroom, they're very simple because I play the audio and I help you through. But in this case, it's very hard and the lesson becomes um, very long if I play the audio and then this video can turn into maybe two, three hours. And I don't want you to sit here for two, three hours listening to the video with me. So you want to listen to the audio and very quickly answer these questions, okay? Now, listen to the audio and it says here, what does each person say about his education? His experience and skill. What is his education? What's his uh, experience and what's his skill? Okay, very simple this one. 
Now, D, read the question sentence. Circle the words or phrases that best complete each sentence. Number one, the company is in, the answer is New York. Number two, Tom has a lot of computer skills. Number three, in college, Tom worked at a, the answer with this one was store. Number four, Mark does not ask Tom about his personality. Okay, when you go for a job, they don't ask you for personality. Number five, George says that he has very, he had, sorry, says he was very busy in college. Okay. Number six, George has, has a good idea for the position. Okay. That's it. Very easy. E, on page number 11, what you're going to be doing is you're going to use the word education, experience, and skill. Education is the major or the studies that you have from school, college, university. Experience is time you spend uh, doing something. Okay. For example, um, if you if you students, I'm not sure if you guys do, but if you play um, games like Call of Duty Warzone, if you play Fortnite, if you play Apex, which is one of my favorite games, the more you play it, the more experience you get, the more better you get. Okay. Now, me, I'll give you a prime example of gaming experience. You have it's called XP. Okay. You start from level one and you go up to level maybe 100, 150. That's what experience is. And skills is something that you have, uh, an ability that you have, okay? Number one, Tom talks mostly about his education. Two, Tom has a lot of useful skills for web design. Number three, Tom does not have the experience necessary for the job. Number four, George has experience as an office assistant in an advertisement agency. And number five, George's education does not relate to advertising. Okay, that's it. Very, very, very simple. All right, we're going to do this one. This is very easy. Uh, if you go on page number 12, Question F, you're going to tick. It says here at the top, then check tick. True, probably true, probably not true, and uh, not true. True means right, not true means wrong. Probably true means maybe it's true. Probably not true, maybe it's wrong. Okay? So right, maybe right, maybe wrong, wrong. Okay? Number one, Tom graduated from college it is probably true. Okay? Tom wishes he had more experience. Probably not true. Mark will choose Tom for the job. Not true. Number four, George's college major was design. Not true. George enjoyed working with people. True. And number six, George is the right person for the job. Probably true. Okay, probably true. So maybe. Now, if you do me a favor, if you go on to question um, on page 13, if you head over to page number 13, we're going to talk about a yellow box again, okay? This is vocabulary skill. Distinguishing between words with similar meanings, okay? Distinguish means uh, find a middle ground, okay? Um, understand it. Between words with similar meanings. Now, in English, the prob uh, not the problem, but the main idea in English is there's some words that are very similar to other things, okay? Words, some words have similar meanings, but they use in different situations. The best way to describe this is the word career and work. A career is a job that you learn to do, and then you do it for many years. Work is something, let's have a look, the job that you do to earn money. So they're near enough the same meaning, but they're different, okay? Mosa graduated from college last year. He already, he's ready to start his career. I have to leave for work very early tomorrow morning. So work. Work is something you do. Career is something you have. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Let's fire through the last questions. Very easy. Okay. A. You can use the dictionary to help you. Okay. Uh, something in law can be very demanding. The answer is not job, it's career. A career in law can be very demanding. Number two, my company closed. I need to find another job soon, okay? Go on to page number 14. 
There's number 14. Number three, Sammy went into business with his brother. Number four, the company has over 6,000 employees around the world. Okay. Now, for yourself, you can, or question B, write one sentence down for each word in activity A. Okay. In activity A, you had words like job, career, company, and business. Job, career, company, and business. You can make a sentence up, okay? That's it. And that's it, really. Um, that's all you have to do. So that was on page number 14, and we finished, okay? So that was uh, unit one. Unit one was how can you find a good job, okay? So take your time. Make sure you understand the video, and um, good luck. Thank you.